it's Memorial Day today and we're back over here in the RV. We have been for the last couple of days and the shop here was nice enough to hook us up with some power. Oh, the day I break these chains, I'm bound for the life of the simple things. It was raining pretty bad last night, so I didn't want to have any electrical issues, so I went ahead and put the uh, cooler over the power plug-ins uh, that are sitting here to help keep it from getting too wet, you know, just keep some of the water off of it at least. I've already ordered the parts, so the guy said that he would probably have them shipped out today. I don't think he's going to be able to because it's Labor Day, so I don't expect to actually have them shipped out till tomorrow. I'm still trying to hunt down a boot for, for the RV here and a gasket. So I'm still working on that. Uh, and the gasket is the one from the differential to the transmission. I'm trying to find one that it's not going to take five or six days to get shipped. I did get directed to one that was on eBay, but you know, just I didn't want to wait a week to get the gasket. So right now we're getting ready to go over to Cadillac Ranch. We haven't really done anything the last couple of days, but just kind of decompress and uh, hang out in the RV and it was one of the stops that we had planned to make. I was actually going to try the uh, Texas, the big Texan uh, steak challenge. I just thought that would be pretty cool. You know, it seems like the kind of thing that you got to do when you're in Amarillo. So hopefully I get back through here again so I can do that. We're rolling up here on Cadillac Ranch. Wow, there's a whole number of people out here just parked along the roadside. I knew it was a pretty big attraction, but I, everything we've seen has not had a string of cars just parked along the road. <laughs> Looks like it must be some kind of seed crop. I'm not sure what it is though. We're over here at the Cadillacs where they're buried and everybody is over here uh, spray painting as you're walking up because the wind's pretty strong and coming towards us you can smell it probably I'd say at least 300 yards away. Something that's kind of upsetting for me is all of this spray paint that's been done on the soil here. I really don't like seeing petroleum based products sprayed directly on the soil. We, we already have the Cadillacs over here to spray paint. This is kind of upsetting. Caroline and James. Okay, let me try with the other one. <laughs> you want to do pink? Yeah. I like green. Okay. All right, guys. It's Catalina's turn over here. She can't open the... There you go. <laughs> you got it. Didn't come out that good though. I need to work on my tagging skills. <laughs> okay. RWS. Okay, step back this way, please. 
Come on. Let's go look. Oh, here's your one. There you go, okay. baby. Go you ready to go? Ready to go. <laughs> There's tons of people out here. Were you expected to see so many people out here? Yeah. Oh, were you? Yeah. True. You ready to? Yeah. My differential's been shipped out. Should be here on Friday in Napa. Both Napa and Advance Auto Parts have not had the gasket I need. I'm trying to find a case, a differential uh, gasket for a 66 to 78 Tornado or Cadillac Eldorado because that's the era of vehicles that also had the same transmission and differential in them. So I'm, kind of, I'm hunting that down right now, but I'm not having really good luck. And in fact, their computer systems even note that those engines and I mean those uh, transmissions and differentials were in a rear wheel drive, which doesn't make any sense because they weren't rear end. They didn't have a rear end drive. So um, it's kind of a little bit frustrating. It was for me and the parts guy because they're, ab you know, those cars were absolutely uh, front wheel drive, but every time it goes into the computer, it keeps sending them to a rear axle. But I'm going to try one other parts store and then I'm going to probably have to order it online. But online it's saying it won't get here until the 13th of September, which, oh man, that, uh, for time for them to put it back in and then us to get out to California on the 21st is real tight. You know, I'm starting to feel like maybe just the difficulty of getting parts, even though we have the club system, you know, with the GMC motorhomes, it's still kind of hard to get parts. Like, I had had pretty good luck when we were doing the stuff with the engine, you know, just going into a regular parts store and, and finding the parts for the 455. But it seems like the systems in these places are so off on even knowing that, you know, it was a front wheel drive car. Even their system doesn't show that. And uh, I don't have a part number or anything, so makes it more problematic. The good thing is, is over here at O'Reilly, O'Reilly does actually have the part. They actually have the gasket, but not here in Amarillo. So it has to be ordered from out of state. And he told me the soonest it would be in is on Thursday. So let's see how it goes. They're supposed to call me when it gets in. We're going to go back to the other parts store and give them another name as far as uh, what it could be go by, you know, could be called transaxle gasket so I'm gonna go and try to do that went back to Napa real quick told them to go ahead and look under another name for the part for the gasket that we were after and they don't have it so we didn't even bother with the other auto parts store at least not yet we're heading over right now to labor ready to see about picking up a few days of work while we're here and we got to go and check in with them and see if we're in their actual system the road here that we're turning on was old route 66 back in the day now it just goes by amarillo boulevard but this is where route 66 ran through all right guys so got some work for tomorrow uh, myself not not for catalina just for me and then i uh, got some work for this weekend real easy job this weekend and the job this weekend, Catalina and I both are going to be doing it. We're just going to be holding the signs at a Hastings that's going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be taking some picture from James and, and posting on Facebook. <laughs> she wants to make sure everybody knows that I'm holding a sign. <laughs> I told her I don't care. It's not like I'm doing it for a career. <laughs> I figured it was a good time to show you how I edit our videos simply because a lot of people ask me and I just happened to have the camera while I was in the middle of doing it here. Now I use a program called Lightworks. It's a professional editing software but I only use the free version so I don't have all the features so I can't do everything that's available in the paid version of the software but it is still pretty neat video editing software for it being free and a lot of movies are actually edited with this software any of these little transition spots or well that's what they're called but these little spots where you have 
one clip that's a, one color and then there's a blue in between each one of these. Each one of those is a clip that I took out of video that we've shot and pieced together. So I'm only a little bit into this. I haven't gotten very far along, but the video that you're watching here right now is actually the video I was editing while I was doing this. So I went ahead and made this quick clip, show you how I go ahead about editing. Um, A1, A2 are audio tracks, the V1 is a video track, and uh, we have different functions down here, cut, in, out, clear, delete, remove, and so if you see these spots right here where there's these blue diamond here, that means I went in on one portion of that video and then I went out on another portion. I'm using that clip that's actually going to go into the edit video that you guys are going to see. Let me know how you feel about it down in the comments below. Tell me, you know, do you want to know more about what we do to edit out the videos? Do you want me to kind of show some of that? Or was this the perfect amount and that's all you want to see? Get out there, connect with people, live your big story. Make sure you do something every single day to reduce world suck. Peace, guys. Peace and love.